Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. So just to let you know, this is real. The Defense Department, with a stroke of the pen, has quietly codified its right to deploy a lethal force against its own citizens. Now, I always thought that that was against the law. We're gonna, I'm going to show you it in a second, but I think it's called the Kami Positanus or something. I don't know how to say those. Posse. The, Posse the Comitatus. Po That's it. <laughs> the Kami Positanus. <laughs> it should be that. It should be Posse that. Posse Comitatus Act. The Kami Positanus. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, like Kami Positanus. It's like uh, Kami Positano over in Italy. <laughs> Uh, this is not a drill. The reissue of Directive 5240.01 is a declaration of intent. The military is an entity designed for external enemies, now turns its gaze inward, poised to act with deadly precision when the inevitable clash of wills erupts. This is, this is design. They anticipate right. conflict. And their anticipation, they prepare the battlefield, our streets, our homes, our lives, and they will strike with the full force of war machine built to crush foreign adversaries, but now aligned to dismantle internal dissent. Do you think I'm making this up? No, I think it's what we do around the world, and they're just going to do it to us. So all the CIA handbook of how to screw up a country, they're going to use it on us now. That's all it is. It's real dark. When people see how dark it is, they're going to be like, wow, I can't believe we were doing that to other countries. They're going to do it to you now. The facade of representative government crumbles as the state arms itself with, not just with weapons, but with the legal and bureaucratic tools to enact violence under the guise of order. What was once unthinkable is now written, approved, and ready to be executed. This is not preparation for defense. This is preparation for domination. Be warned, when the state moves in silence, it's because it expects resistance. Martial law was always the goal. So this is it. It's from the Department of Defense, the DOD Directive 5240.01, Department of Defense Intelligence and Intelligence-Related Activities, and Defense Intelligence Component Assistance, assistance to Law Enforcement Agencies. Finally. And when is this from? This is from September 27th, 2024. Well, January 6th, Jimmy. I'm sure it's justified. Oh, January. Look, I don't want to. I want to just clear up your misinformation, Jimmy. It doesn't say that in literal words. It just has a loophole where they can do that. And they probably won't, right? They're well, not going to use a legal loophole to do something crazy. So here it is. All the levels of authority. And I'm, I'm going to highlight this for you right here. Assistance in responding with assets with potential for lethality. <laughs> so what that means is they're going to kill the, the the military will now has the right to kill American citizens. That's what that is. Finally, assistance in responding with assets with potential for lethality or yeah. any situation in which it is reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force. So assets is really scary. Okay? Assets. That could mean a lot of stuff. Assets means a lot. Including death or serious bodily injury. It is also includes all support to civilian law enforcement officials in situations where a confrontation between civilian law enforcement and civilian individuals or groups is reasonably anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all those weird uh, people that have been trying to kill Trump that have been popping off? Um, assets, they're not saying soldiers, they're saying assets. So that means anything they have at their disposal. And you know what they have? A bunch of killers they can activate at a moment. So they got, they've been bringing terrorists in here, just regular ones. Yeah. That's a fact. And then there's ones that they make, which they make. And they can activate them at will. And I bet you they will. George Moore says the Posse Comitatus Act, or better known as the Commie Positano, 
Act limits the federal government from using the military for domestic law enforcement. However, very quietly, on September 27th of 2024, within six weeks before the election, the Department of Defense amended the Department of Defense Directive 5240.01 to allow lethal force. Why now, asked George Moore. Um, oh, I wouldn't even hazard a guess why. <laughs> so posse comitatus goes the way of the rest of our buried constitution. Yeah. We're being occupied by international interests and, and our so-called allies, right? Yeah, it's called the UN. You ever, have you ever heard of it? It's um, the State Department is Council on Foreign Relations. Yeah. Um, it's you, you live in the chump part of uh, called America, which is the shell company. And here it is. Here's, I mean, just because they're stating, they're making it an official statement that they can now use the military to kill you, that doesn't mean they're going to do it, right? Yeah, well, they always could because Obama did it to American citizens, as you recall, but now they can do it here on our own soil. Just like when we learned about the Smith Modernization Act on this, the first time this show ruined my week when I learned about (laughs) how the Smith Modernization Act worked, because that was a thing that crazy conspiracy nuts had told me, and they told it to me in a stupid way. And I was told by famous Hollywood actors, you know, reliable sources, how stupid that was. And then, I don't know, five to six years later, I find out no, the stupid person who told me that was dead right. They just didn't know how to express the legal vagaries, which uh, the guest uh, John Kiriakou did. And it really got me down because I was like, oh, that's stupid for five years. That's how easy it is to trick people, especially me. So do you think they're covering for stuff that they're already kind of doing already? Unless, Of course. And they, and they just really intend to step it up with soldiers on the streets? No, this is – look, they didn't kill Trump. And – you think they're going to let Trump go in the way? I think Russell was right about they're never going to let Trump enter the White House yes. ever again or do everything they can. So this and, is because um, they're get, I, like one theory would be they're getting ready to, to rig an election and it's going to be obvious they rigged it. And so they're going to have to put the military on the streets to calm people down. Yeah, that's why they're so upset about how bad Kamala is doing. Because yes. first of all, the numbers are fake. There's no way she's even doing remotely well. There's not There's enough no rich way. idiots. Black people that, are, don't, don't, don't like her. I, well, anybody but, that knows anything, if you don't know anything about it, you have the privilege of not knowing. Right. Okay? So because they destroyed the middle class, the original force field of idiots that don't care about poor people, right? That's your shield to keep the people from getting mad at you. And they've eroded that. They know that. And the programming don't work with identity politics anymore. You know, BLM was a bust. I don't know if anybody remembers. Well, they do. <laughs> They're mad about it to this very day. And so now, what are they going to do? How are they going to be able to pull off the scam that Kamala really won? They're not. They are. Well, maybe. Well, of course they are. Look at they, well, now they, they have this. They pulled off. They pulled off Building Seven on nine eleven. They pulled off the Iraq War, the Syrian War, the Afghanistan War for no twenty years. They pulled off Libya. They're pulling off Ukraine right in front of your eyes. They're pulling it all off. Of course, they're pulling it all off. Um, they're not going to be able to pull it off. It's the same reason Epstein is probably like they the pulled third off or Russia fourth. Gate. They pulled off. They pulled off COVID, right. Kurt. Yeah, right. You can only do that so long. You look. You know that it's a great trick, but you can only do it thirty times. <laughs> we have an internet, and I believe that has backfired. And you can see the panic about it at every corner of everything. But Kurt, here's and, yeah. here's my question: Where are they going to find Americans who are willing to open fire on other Americans? Oh, wait. I think there was an open border for the last couple of years, and they have 10 million. Huh. Yeah. That would be perfect. Dreamers. I think they're called dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where are they going to get soldiers to open fire on Americans? It's not like we're on campus in Ohio during the 1970s. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of their first projects, by the way. I don't believe that guy. I don't even know all his details, but I already, I already can guess how they did it. So here's the Posse Comitatus Act. It says the United States federal law, original, uh, is it signed on 18, 1878, this law was signed by President Rutherford B. Hayes. And it limits the power of the federal government in the use of federal military personnel to enforce domestic policies within the United States. So you can't use the military to enforce domestic policies, meaning. Whatever, martial law, whatever. Congress. They used to do that a lot. 
Congress passed the act as an amendment to an Army Appropriations Bill following the end of the Reconstruction and updated it in 1956, 1981, and in 2021. The original act only applied to the Army, but then they made it apply to the Air Force in 2021. They uh, also made it uh, cover the Navy and the Marine Corps and the Space Force. Mm Mm-hmm. The act does not prevent the Army National Guard or the Air National Guard under state authority from acting in a law enforcement capacity within its home state or in an adjacent state if invited by that state's governor. The United States Coast Guard is not covered by the uh, Posse Comitatus Act either, primarily because although it is an armed service, it also has a maritime law enforcement mission. So The whole world is the sea. <laughs> yeah. They're a blue water land navy, Jimmy. Yeah. So even Ron, Ron Paul caught on to this. Here's Ron Paul. But we want to start off with a headline from Zero Hedge. It's yeah. a pretty hot, hot headline. U.S. military now is authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil. Mm. That's, mm. That can't be possible. Yeah. This would open up the door for the careless uh, use and if more frequent and legal. It'll yeah. be legal now, so nobody will have to worry about that. Send in the troops. We need you to shoot a couple of these people. Yeah. They, they, they're opposing our policies. They're demonstrating against COVID rules or something they'll come up with. So I think it's very, very dangerous. Uh, so here it is. Now, Zero Hedge picked it up from Armageddon Pros, which is a, uh, which is a substack which they often run. Uh, it says, uh, U.S. military now authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil? Just ahead, intriguingly, of November elections, and that was my second thought, the military has granted itself permission to unleash, unleash lethal force on the civilian population. Again, I thought this has got to be an exaggeration. So uh, I went and looked, and actually go to the next one, because this, this explains what it is. Now, it's not a law. It's a DOD directive. So this is, you know, the whole the administrative state where they take over. They don't pass laws. They are laws unto themselves. Go to the next one if you can, because this is what they're talking about. And I went in and I read this secondly, and it talks about a reissued DOD directive that was reissued just on September 27th, 2024. It governs the Department of Defense intelligence activities and now includes provisions authorizing lethal, lethal force in circum- cer- certain circumstances, and it supplants the 2016 version, which did not mention that. So I read all of this, too, which is someone else's analysis. I said, okay, this sounds even more troubling. I want to go look at the document itself. And so go to the next one. I actually went and looked at the DOD directive. It's DOD directive 5240.01. Now go to the next one. I'm just going to get to this really quick so I can, just so people, this is on their own website. Now this is section three of that directive assistance to law enforcement agencies and other civil authorities now go to the next one now this is levels of authority this is section there it 3. is 3. may provide defense intelligence components may provide personnel to assist a federal department or agency including a federal law enforcement agency or a state or local law enforcement agency when lives are in danger in response to such a request for such assistance in accordance with the following approval authorities. Now here are the authorities. I, I'm sorry to get so far into the woods here, but go to the next one. Responding with assets with potential for lethality, and I underline this, I, I highlighted it, or any situation where it is reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force including death or serious bodily injury. I'm sorry to bog the discussion down with that, Dr. Ball, but I really wanted to hone in on this is their actual document. It's yeah. not just someone's analysis. Uh, Jimmy, one other thing, because the National Guard, you think, would be enough to shoot American citizens. They already are legally allowed yes. to use several groups. So they need the whole army to be authorized to do that. So remember how if Trump got killed, they would have been under COG, continuance of government laws, yes. and it would not have gone to the next person in line, would have gone to Greg uh, Gillett from NORAD, and he would have divided America up into zones. This is how it's written out. And so how are you going to enforce that where you radically change America into a group of zones w- with a law that was originally intended in case of nuclear war, but later amended with the Patriot Act? Well, I bet you need the whole military to do that. I bet the National Guard wouldn't be enough to fight the civilians. So- Look, 
Dana Gould, before he lost his mind, had this great point about torture when they legalize torture. He goes, of course they're going to torture. But these ghouls want to make it legal. Making it illegal just keeps it to a kind of a minimum. Making it legal means <laughs> it's going to be more torture than ever. That's what this is. That's what this is. And Dana Gould would not accept that point now if I told it to him. No, he would not. No, he's also his own point. He's also lost his mind. He's one of those people. Don't do your own <clears throat> research. Dana Gould, former executive producer of The Simpsons, he's he uh, lo- lost his mind like the rest of Hollywood. If, if someone tells you don't do your own research, do you really think that's not a form of mind control? Because I feel like it is. Being it is of course, it is. They told you not to. They're telling you it's not to read. Thing. They're telling you reading is dangerous. Yeah. You should only. Yeah. You should only. Reading should be left to the experts. I you mean, have that to be is an such expert a far in, out. That that doesn't. It's so absurd and so doesn't make sense. That what other conclusion can you have than a deliberate some kind of hypnotic thing but that they all works on it. some people better than others? N- name a top comedian who didn't do it besides Joe Rogan. Who didn't say it? Who didn't say shit like that? Uh, name a top comedian. I mean, I, I, I I wouldn't I be able to do that anyway. I, anyway, because I I really don't watch a bunch of people unless like you know <laughs> I only care about myself. But uh, I. I think it depends on how entrenched you are in a really good Hollywood job where you're rubbing elbows with big stars for it. And if you're not, you just wouldn't talk about it. And then if you meet me, you see me in the green room, we might talk about it, but you're not going to say it out loud. I think it's mostly that, but there's a rare special breed that's really going to extra suck up. You know? I've, I've had, I've had um, <clears throat> a list comedians when I come off stage after I'll do my bit about COVID and they'll whisper to me, uh yeah, I got shingles from the. Uh, I got shingles in my eye. I, had, I they they'll whisper yeah. to me their 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 um side effects. Yeah. Well, that's encouraging. They're just cowards and not full zombies. That's that's a, that's a glass half. Yeah. Thing. Let me ask you a question. How many of you are concerned that your privacy is being attacked by radicals and the government? The deep state, including the Department of Justice, is invading individuals' private messages and targeting them based on their political affiliation. That's why I've partnered with Freedom Chat. That's a private social messaging app that, like me, believes privacy is a fundamental human right. Freedom Chat offers true end-to-end encryption, built-in screenshot protection to ensure that no one can screenshot your conversations, no storage of messages on their servers, and no commercial use of your user data. Some people will stop at nothing to maintain power, making privacy protection more important than ever. Download the app right now by going to freedomchat.com slash door. That's freedomchat.com slash D-O-R-E. There's even, uh, they even created uh, my own private chat channel. Simply download the app, search for my channel, and subscribe. No one can see the channels you are subscribed to or the posts that you react to. It's your own private news feed. If you're on Android, you can scan the QR code on your screen and subscribe to their wait list or go to freedomchat.com. Speak freely and message privately with Freedom Chat. Again, download the app today and subscribe to my channel at Door for exclusive posts and never-before-seen content. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets.